Welcome to Services Marketing for Semester 1, 2015. I'm your host, Dr. Stephen Dan, and I'll be both the voice on the screen here and the person in the classroom guiding you through the course this semester. The way the subject has been set out is there's going to be a series of pre-recorded slide decks, and these will be available in advance of the Friday classes so that you have a chance to watch the slides see my take on what some of the highlight packages and some of the, the highlight key points out of the chapter, read the chapter from the textbook, and that's the textbook in its uh, glory on the corner of the screen there, and then come down to Friday's class ready to have a bit of a chat and a bit of a conversation. The idea behind the Friday sessions is that you'll have two hours thereabouts there's a three hour time slot has been reserved for us. So we're looking at an hour and a half to two hours worth of formal class. And an hour has been reserved for you to make use of the room as we progress through semester for group assignment conversations, or just simply to hold court amongst yourselves and have a bit of a chat. It's one thing for I noticed from teaching services marketing last year is the conversation in the room it's always felt frustrating where I had to cut you short and say, look, we've got to go back into class now, when quite clearly there was a lot of stuff happening and there was a real opportunity for you to get to know each other and you know, work together collaboratively, both on this subject and the other subjects you're studying this semester. So first hour and a half to two hours, depending on how we go, reserved for the formal part of the class. The remaining time that we've got the space available is held there for you to use however you see fit. In terms of the expectations for the subject this semester, we have a 10, 20, 30, 40 assessment progression. The previous year offered a 60, 40 paired exam block, which on feedback from the students we modified because your first assessment task was, well, back then in the day, quite challenging. Instead now what we're looking at is a sequential build of skill, knowledge and ability. Your first task for 10 points is really there to give you a reward for presenting a written case, written argument to me. And then from that I can give you feedback, develop your skills towards the 20 mark, which that 20 mark exercise is now going to be designed to give you more feedback and the opportunity to have built on what you've learned from the 10 mark exercise. Those two are items, now worth 30 points in total, have given you the opportunity to progress your skills and develop your services marketing knowledge and your essay writing skill set, which you then put into practice in the 30% training, well, 30% assignment, which will be a group-based exercise. And here's the beauty of the design for you. Once you've completed 60% of the coursework with the in-semester assignments, you'll have been training for the final exam. The style of question that will be made available to you in the final exam builds on the skill and ability that you've been demonstrating through your first three assessment tasks, the references, citations, and knowledge that you've used in those three tasks can be used again in this fourth and final exam task. So it's looking at a much more structured, logical, and also experience-driven framework. You get to build on what you've learnt, you get to adapt so you actually have a lot, to, uh, it's a lot more of a, what you say, engaging task, a series of tasks. The other aspect that I want to draw your attention to with services marketing is that edu higher education and education delivery is in fact a service itself. So across the course of the semester, you're going to be experiencing services marketing whilst you're studying services marketing, which in itself makes for an interesting uh, meta experience. But I'd just like to draw your attention quickly to one of the services concepts, and that is the idea of customer co-production. Each week, the services marketing Friday sessions will be a combination of 
your participation and my participation. So we are going to co-produce the service experience. Now in order to be at a point to co-produce this service class, I'm going to ask of you to do the text readings, view the slides, and where we've got the additional case material and additional slides for you to, and or additional uh, PDF readings, for you to engage with that material before you come to the room. If, for whatever reason, it's life got in the way that week, you don't have to come to the class. So the classes on the Friday are completely voluntary. You can do this entire course based solely on watching what's on the Wattle site, doing the readings, and having conversations with your friends. So if you want to be self-directed, that option's open to you. But if you want to come along to the Friday sessions, what I'm really keen on you doing is making certain you've given yourself the best opportunity to get the most out of that session. So that would include watching the videos, reading the materials, preparing in advance, definitely get your hands on a copy of this textbook. It will be very useful to you, both in the classroom and also beyond the classroom. The services marketing text is one of those ones where you're gonna lay down a significant cash investment. We're looking at a hundred plus dollars investment here, but that's a book you can take with you. The theories of services marketing have stood up over time. We're talking about models that were developed in the 70s, 80s and 90s being as relevant in the internet driven 2000s, 2010s as they were back in the day in the early 80s. So it's a strong theoretically driven successful and field tested and field proven set of theories that you're going to be using so the book can travel with you. Particularly, if you want to go on to become a consultant at any point in time, it's going to be really useful having the services marketing text to help you design your own company and design your own operation. So get a copy of the text and make use of it. Grab the readings and make use of them. And particularly, please, if you have, if it's going to be a busy season for you and you know you're not going to be able to prepare in advance, it's going to be less fun for you on the Fridays. And... What I want you to do is not just learn the subject, but also enjoy the learning. So please, prep in advance. The materials will be up and available and the site will be fully tricked out awaiting your engagement. So the final thing I'll say in terms of the welcome to the course uh, video, briefing video is, if you do need to get in touch with me over the course of the semester, outside of the seminar, the Friday seminar time. The easiest way to reach me is either over email, stephen.dan at anu.edu.au, or send me a message across Twitter, at Stephen Dan. I will be encouraging people to engage with Twitter over the semester. So if you do find something of interest, feel free to pass along and share with your colleagues. Because part of this challenge is gonna be about us as a group bringing our collective experiences. As postgrads undertaking services marketing, you've all experienced service delivery and you'll have case examples and case illustrations from your own life that are beneficial to us as a collective unit, learning from, engaging with and examining against the marketing theories that I'm presenting in this slide deck and these slide decks and the theories that are presented in the textbook. So welcome to MKTG. 7023. I hope you enjoy the semester and if you're up for it and you're looking for a conversation and a bit of a chat about services marketing, I'll see you on the Friday classes.